Jesper Lindstrom is signed for Everton from Napoli, so we thought we would have a little look at what Everton are getting with the player. The 24-year-old Danish international it moved to Napoli last season from Frankfurt. Didn't have a great season for Napoli. Made two starts in Serie A. I think he had 433 minutes. No goals and no assists, which is not amazing. But... We're going to look at him, at what he's done in his career overall, because that's really the only... Well, I've decided it's the fairest way that we're going to do it. But let's have a look at his stats. Let's have a look where he started. Lindstrom was born in Tarstrup in Denmark. Uh, he's age 24. He's 1.82 metres tall. His preferred foot is right. And the uh, Everton have got a loan agreement with an option. The option is thought to be around 25 million euro for the player. We'll see whether that comes to fruition. He's played 174 career games. He has scored 29 goals in that. He's got 27 assists. And the main positions he plays are as an attacking midfield player, but he can also play right wing and left wing as well. And he's been capped 16 times by Denmark, scoring one goal in the process. Lindstrom is a versatile player. Uh, you can see here where he plays. He's uh, played 118 times as an, as an attacking midfielder, almost a number 10, if you like, scoring 34 goals and registering 26 uh, assists from that position. He's had 20 games as a left winger, uh, one goal, two assists from there, and he's had 12 games as a right winger, and he scored one goal from there. So... Even though he's had a go in other positions, they're the main three positions that he's played. Quite clearly, he's mainly in what looks like a number 10, and that's where he's enjoyed his best seasons, playing for Bromby, uh, where he had one in two the last sort of season before he left, and also when he went off to Frankfurt, again, enjoyed most of his games there and did really well, prompting Napoli to take him to Serie A. As I said, last season at Napoli wasn't, wasn't amazing for him. If they were... There was a lot of unrest with the champions, weren't they? And then ended up changing managers and things didn't go the way. And he was a little bit of a victim of that. So I want to look at him when he was settled at Frankfurt uh, and get a proper overview of him. So let's have a look at his numbers in his final season at Eintracht Frankfurt. Here we go. He played 27 games, started 22 of them, got seven goals. Uh, shots averaged per game, 1.6, uh, 1.7. He missed four big chances, uh, scored, got two assists and created four big chances as well. Uh, that is just in Bundesliga, they're just league games only. But like I said, you know, it is going to be interesting to see how Everton use him. Abdelaide Corey has been Sean Dyche's go-to man in that number 10 role, if you like, off the main striker. And that is a position where Lindstrom has sort of excelled. He can beat a man. He's good 1v1. Does work hard. Uh, can he play permanently on the right or the left wing? Remains to be seen. He's had goals out there, spells out there, definitely has. But, do you know, what's really interesting is Evan have brought Illiman and Dian as well. And he's someone who I think wants to play as second striker, played most of his games as a second striker. And what Sean Dyke seems to be doing is getting dribblers in as well, or Kevin Fell, or whichever one it is, working together, getting players who like to take people on and try and create more opportunities. Because that's one thing that Everton just simply didn't do last season was create enough opportunities. And we, we will be better if we get players who are used to going 1v1 and taking people on. So uh, this kind of... This kind of signing, again, uh, links into that. Everton is still on the lookout for another uh, wide player with explosive pace, so that might be giving them varying options for the manager. But this is why I think it's important to almost exclude last season. It wasn't a great one. Let's, for the, the benefit of being positive, let's give him the benefit of the doubt and say last season was the outlier. And once he's settled, we're going to see more creativity and goals from Jesper Lindstrom. So let's have a look at uh, Jesper Lindstrom's heat map from his final season at Frankfurt. And there you can see predominantly he has popped up a lot on the right-hand side, moving from um, in to out there. But he is all over the place. And again, that's more of a truer picture of when he settled and playing in the team regularly. Can he settle at Everton and play in the team regularly? That's on him. He's got to impress Sean Dyche and Wone and Steve Stone. Uh, interestingly, we're unsure whether there has been gaffers day yet. So 
we'll have to see whether or not he gets to do gaffer's day um, with obviously the pre-season stepping up from now. But he could be a very useful addition to Everton. And listen, with the loan, with an option to buy, I think is a very good uh, deal for Everton and a, a good deal for Lindstrom too. If we have a look at uh, Jesper Lindstrom's The Wheel of Performance, we call it, this is from his time at Napoli, giving you sort of the percentiles. And you can see there, you know, past attempt that he's on the 75th percentile, shot creation actions, uh, 69th percentile, pass completion, 82nd percentile, successful take on, 78th percentile, um, tackling. He's up there tackling an interception, 89 percentile. Clearance is 90 percentile. So Sean Dyke will be happy with the work ethic side of it. Uh, but it is more the other stuff, isn't it? The exciting attacking stuff that he just simply didn't play enough to uh, to register high on that. So um, hopefully we're going to see the benefits of that. But we won't know. We don't know until he is in and in the squad and how Everton choose to use him. And But hopefully... He will be more impactful than, say, Dan Juma, who we had last season, and therefore will be an upgrade on that. Sean Dyche might, or or Jesper Lindstrom might well play his way into the side as a number 10 and then can thrive in an Everton side so devoid of chances and goals last season. And hopefully we will uh, we will improve this season. So that is Jesper Lindstrom. Will he be a good addition? Who knows? What do you think? Are you happy with what you've uh, you've seen of him? Are you happy with what you've heard about him? Are you just giving him, you know, one of them? We'll see how he goes. But wishing him all the best, obviously. Let me know in the comments section below. Give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. We'll see you later.